Okay guys, here I am with another video, and I know I'm spewing out a bunch of content at the, content at the same time. That's just because I it, there are so many months where I didn't make videos, and I want to make up for that for you guys. So, here I am with listing all of the superheroes in the Flaro universe, it, which is what the fans call it. It's technically called the DC uh, TVU, for the Detective Comics Television Universe, which is... A lengthy name, I gotta say. I can understand why they abbreviated it. So, let's start it off with the leads of, the, of this. There was Green Arrow from Arrow and The Flash from The Flash, as pictured over my shoulder. And then let's get into some of the side characters. Uh, let's go into the side characters for Arrow. We have Black Canary as played by Katie Cassidy. We have Arsenal as played by Colton Haynes. I remember the name. Speedy, as played by Willa Holland. And then let's go into the Flash uh, side characters. We have... Uh, we could... This is... I'm sorry for that, guys. There could be a Wally West appearing in Season 2 of The Flash, which would be a side character, but it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's just been hinted that he could be in the next season. So that's basically all of the Flash side characters. Now let's get into the Legends of Tomorrow characters. This is interesting. Firestorm, as played by Robbie Amell. The Atom, as played by Brandon, by Brandon Routh. White Canary, as played by... Crap, what's her name? Crap, crap. Katie Lots, Katie Lots, Katie Lots. Hawkgirl, as played by Sierra Renee. The Renee? Yeah. And Rip Hunter, as played by the excellent Arthur Darvell, who I am so looking forward to seeing him in this. By the way, for those of you who don't know, he was in Doctor Who. He was one of the Eleventh Doctor's companions, Rory, and he's a Rory, and he's a huge, huge uh, fangirl uh, symbol, I guess. Uh, and then another show that it, two more shows that aren't really recognized that much right now: Constantine, which was just canceled, but on NBC, but could be coming back on, like, Sci-Fi or one of those other channels. And there's Vixen, which is coming in January or somewhere around there, I think. It, it's a it's an animated show that's going to be online, and it'll, it'll still fit in with this universe. And uh, also, coming very soon, is Supergirl. I'm so psyched. I, I'm kind of psyched for this. It looks good. It looks sort of like a chick flick, though. I'm kind of worried about that. But that is another character that fits in with this universe. A lot of people didn't know that. But yes, it does take place within the universe. But as uh, Greg Berlanti, the executive producer for both of the shows, has said, don't expect direct crossovers because unless Warner Brothers sees, wow, we need to put these shows together, imagine the ratings we could get, then we're not going to get a crossover anytime soon. Maybe season two or season three of Supergirl. And that would be season three or season four of The Flash. So. And then, let's get into the Teen Titans show, which I'm also very looking forward, very much looking forward to. Which is, uh, which uh, I'm not sure exactly what characters are on the cast list. I've been having a hard time finding that. But uh, there is Nightwing which is going to appear, Dick Grayson. We don't have a cast list, though, yet, so that's unfortunate. Starfire, I believe, is going to appear. Raven, I also believe, is going to appear. And the one that I definitely know is going to be in it is, Black, is Batgirl or Oracle. It's, they're kind of uh, not specific when they say that. Um, but that's it for, for the main ones that we have seen before or going to see very soon. Now, the one that's not confirmed, that's Green Lantern. Because if you remember in The Flash, Season 1, Episode 22, Rogue Air, there is an Easter egg where, uh, where they say that one of the Ferris Air test pilots disappeared. Mm. Sounds a lot like a Hal Jordan Easter egg to me, which means... Yep. Cha-ching! Money everywhere. If they bring in Green Lantern, there's going to be so much money that they're going to be making. But I think they would have to bring him into the Legends of Tomorrow show because they wouldn't be able to get a solo show for him because of how much Warner Brothers is war is not letting them have characters intertwined with both of them. That's why they got rid of Deadshot and are not going to be using Amanda Waller that much and, and Harley Quinn too on Arrow. So basically that's it for it, guys. Uh, what? Tell me. This is the question I want to ask you. 
what so what uh, DC characters would you like to see be incorporated into the Fly Arrow universe next? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, adios amigos.